Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys the quickest way to transfer your VHS, how to digitize your VHS footage uh, to your computer with QuickTime. So whether you're using a VHS camcorder, a high 8 camcorder, a uh, mini DV or eight millimeter camcorders, um, I'm gonna show you guys the quickest way to do it. If I'm wrong, correct me, drop a comment below. If there's a faster way to do this, I think this is the fastest way to get your footage onto your computer um, with a few simple steps. So before I get started, let's say you bought one of these cameras. Um, I'll start off with this one, the VHS camera. Uh, sometimes the components don't come with it. So you're gonna need to find this through eBay or you might find it on Amazon. So for the VHS camcorder, let's say you don't have this little baby right here. I'm gonna disconnect this cable real quick. So if you don't have this little thing here, then you won't be able to transfer your video. So um, if you have this little adapter, you're just gonna need to connect it to the back of your camera. And then you're gonna need this audio video cable as well. If you wanna find all these things that I have here, like especially these components and the capture card, uh, the link is in the description. So for this one, you're gonna need to connect it here and into the capture card, which I'll show you guys later. So for the Hi8 camera, I think most people will have this. So for this one, you're gonna need this little audio video cable. This is one that sticks right here on the side of this camera because once you have that, you'll be able to connect it to the capture card. So let me show you guys the capture card. This is the capture card. You might have seen it if you've done your research on Amazon. These are less than $15. Um, you can, I think the lowest will probably be like $10. Um, all you need is this and you just basically need to connect the cables, um, whether you're using your VHS or, or Hi8. So once you do connect those cables, uh, let me just demonstrate that right in front of the camera. So once you do, just connect it on the ends here. You got the video, I mean the audio, and the video. So take that USB video capture card and connect it to your computer. Um, if you have a modern Mac, it's going to use a USB-C, so you might have to buy a USB-C hub, which is like $20, $30, um, depends what you get. Um, so once you do connect it, you're just going to connect it here, and then all you need to do is open up QuickTime. So let's get on the computer, and I'll show you guys how to quickly transfer your footage and pretty much digitize it um, through QuickTime. Okay, so now that we have everything connected, let's go ahead and open up QuickTime on your computer. Once you have that open, click on File on the top left and click on New Movie Recording. Once you have that open, go ahead and click on the drop down menu and click on your video capture card. Mine is called AVD USB 2.0. You want to select this under camera and you want to select it under microphone. And then you want to head on over to quality, high or maximum. Uh, I don't see the big difference between the two, but I would choose maximum. And once you have that selected, go ahead and press record. I would do this before I press play on my camcorder. So let me go ahead and press play for you guys. You can see that it's here. And if you want, you can also toggle this uh, volume button if you want to listen to the footage. And that's pretty much it. And be sure to watch this, the file size go up. If you don't have enough space on your computer, make sure you do. Um, and then once you have your footage collected, you wanna click on stop. This thing won't stop automatically, so you'd have to do this manually once your footage has been transferred over. So once you click on stop, you can review the footage on QuickTime. And then what you wanna do is click exit and you wanna name this footage, VHS transfer and then click on save. And then you can open it up, watch it again, go on your favorite editing software and have fun with it. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps out all those who are trying to transfer 
their footage into their computer and again I think QuickTime is the quickest way to do this. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below but I think in my opinion QuickTime is the quickest way to do it. You can set everything up in less than five minutes and get the transfer going in no time. Uh, and for those who are looking for components, like if you bought a VHS camcorder, hi aids, and you need the necessary adapters, cables, and whatnot, I have a Amazon link in my description uh, to get you started. Everything is less than 20 bucks. And if you guys have any questions on how to transfer or anything about this video, uh, let me know. And also visit my channel. I do have a lot of videos that I've made um, with my high eights and VHS footage. So that just shows you proof that I've transferred a lot using these methods. And again, QuickTime is the quickest way to transfer your video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.